This is the Canadian border in Champlain, New York. And this is Curtis Seymour, a Trump-supporting taxi driver who works the midnight shift Monday through Saturday. In addition to his regular passengers, there's another fare he often takes. We pick up a lot of refugees and immigrants going to the border, going to Roxham Road. We get up from the bus station or from the motels. As President Trump cracks down on immigration, many undocumented immigrants are fleeing northward to a country they view as more welcoming. And cabbies like Seymour are often the final leg of the trip, taking them as far as he can legally go. I never thought this many people would try to get into Canada. I, I never thought. It, it's just a lot of people immigrating to another country. Like many cab drivers in the area, Seymour's night invariably involves stopping at the mobile gas station in Plattsburgh, where buses drop off a mix of college students, townies, and asylum seekers. But they go through a lot to get to where they're going. They're scared, you know. They're human beings just like we are, you know, and they need help. On Roxham Road, the narrow space dividing the United States from Canada is littered with items from hurried escapes, some successful, but some not. Despite shepherding these people in their most desperate moments, fleeing what they perceive as a hostile government, Seymour still supports Trump. They're, they're afraid of Trump. I think they're afraid they're going to be detained and deported. I voted for President Trump. I'm glad. I like him. You know, he's just a little rough, but that's what we need. <laughs> you know, it's President Trump is doing his job. That's the way I look at it, you know. If they're here illegally, well, try to get legal. If not, go to Canada. And he's happy to help them get there. Makes me feel good. I can sleep at night. You know, I'm not worried they didn't get there. You know, I know they're there because I brought them there.